in phase two, position number seven, what we're focusing on as we begin to take our hands back and get to that loaded position is identifying uh, for the hitter and grading the hitter based on the head movement and an understanding that the head needs to be as still as possible throughout the entire process, all five phases. But right now, it's important that uh, the head, uh, because it is the initiation of movement as we're beginning to trigger in the swing, it's important to emphasize that the head be still because the eyes are are positioned inside the head and it's with the eyes that we're going to read the pitch better we're going to, to uh, judge velocity and if we've got a lot of movement going on with the head then of course the eyes are uh, put at a disadvantage in trying to really read properly and identify because there's just too much activity going on there visually uh, to be accurate so we want to identify that the head needs to be quiet throughout one of the side notes is, is that how you can learn to do that is implementing these uh, swing on the T. A lot of T cuts learning how to uh, implement all the facets of the mechanics we're talking about and doing so in a very aggressive and progressively harder and harder nature and when I'm talking about harder and harder being how hard you come in um, you, you want to attack the ball but you don't want to attack the ball uh, at, in such a manner that you're losing yourself mechanically and that's why the T is good because you can uh, actually focus on certain movements as you move uh, throughout the course of the swing but at the same time you can judge also uh, how hard you can swing and still maintain the integrity of the head position so you learn how to swing uh, as hard as possible while yet again still maintaining proper mechanical integrity but doing so with a very quiet and still head because if you're trying to do it in the batting cage and tracking the ball as opposed to the tee you're not going to be able to do it they're trying to find the ball so you can't isolate so it's important for you to learn that you get your player on the tee and get on that tee and learn how to have these two entities work together a violent lower half of the body from the shoulders down yet with a very quiet head position and uh, we think that's really important for you to understand as you're moving into the initial stage of the triggering action in phase two.